How many illegal immigrants entered Britain after border controls were relaxed? Oh, the Home Secretary has no idea. Good evening. Theresa May admits it was a breach of national security. The Home Secretary claims no minister had anything to do with the decision to reduce border checks for non-EU citizens. The government states the current terror threat to Britain is substantial, yet they were totally unaware that the systems for ensuring would-be terrorists did not enter the country were simply not being deployed. Tonight, who knew what, when, and why is there no independent investigation? The other news tonight... The Eurozone crisis shifts focus here to Rome. Silvio Berlusconi is denying reports that he's about to resign tonight, but politics and the markets are pushing him hard. Plus here, the M5 disaster, as the details of who died are clarified. The questions, was it an opaque mix of firework explosive and fog that blinded drivers? And united in shock, the family of a man left in a mortuary for 13 years and the Nigerians who were told it was a woman who was their friend. Also on the programme tonight, at half past seven, the town that time forgot. Why residents here won't be rebuilding their homes eight months after the tsunami devastated Japan. We'll have the first in a series of special reports. And at ten to eight, Philip Gould, the man who gave birth to New Labour, has died after a long battle with cancer. We talked to Tony Blair about his friend and colleague. He was constantly in Labour Party headquarters, speaking to the young people, motivating them, inspiring them, driving them on. You know, he was, a, he was a great leader in that sense. How many people were let in is unknown.